Hi guys, my name is Carolina. Welcome to my channel. So this is my first mommy video of 2017. It's a Sunday. We are snowed in. So might as well just do a video for you guys, right? Um, if you are looking for choreography, stay tuned because I should be posting my first one in like a month or so. Now, <laughs> you're going to hear some weird noises in the background. It could be either my dog or my baby that's sitting right below me. So just ignore that. Everything is fine in this house. It's just that there are two more living things in the same room as me. Um, okay, so let's start before this baby starts crying. Bye, baby. And I made a list of 10 things that, um, kind of baby gadgets. I consider myself a, like very minimal when it comes to gadgets and stuff. Nothing against people that like to have one of each or you like colorful things, but it's just like my husband and I, it's just not our style. But when I look around, there's all that stuff. So I don't know how much of a minimalist I am by now, but those are things that kind of saved my life and I wanted just to share with you. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's start. So gadget number one, and that's really number one, it's a baby Bjorn. That was my dog. It was a baby Bjorn. Um, it's kind of like a baby carrier. You wear it as a, a backwards backpack. I mean, there's a billion different ones out there. When I start to research, there's like really like so many different colors, different sizes, different features. I have a friend of a friend that has this one and she recommended this, so that's why I got it. Um, it doesn't matter which one you do get, but I definitely recommend getting one of those, mainly if you're like a mom that's always on the go. I don't stay at home ever. I'm always like doing something and I don't really have much help. So I do need to have the baby on me when I wanted to get stuff done. Um, I'm going to link everything that I show to you down below. Those are things that either were given to me or I purchased. It, nothing is like, I'm not like making, um, trying to make money off of it. It's just like personal preference. So baby Bjorn, um, and I found that he not only loved this, but sometimes when I need, you know, to put him down, like for a nap, he does fall asleep here, so. Gadget number two is a boppy. And a boppy is a pillow in form of a seat, I would say. Um, they have a tag and it shows kind of like, you can use for, breastfeeding you can use to prop your baby um for tummy time and then when it starts to sit you can sit him here it's kind of like a support for your baby so um again definitely recommended you can change the pad this is washable um and the way that i've been using the most which they say to not do but i must admit that i do uh when he takes a nap i know that he likes you know, to be cradle and to feel like support. So I just put him on here. Um, not at night, I don't do that at night, but if I'm around, if I can keep my eyes on him, I would put him when he's taking a nap on the boppy. Aww. Oh, okay. Okay, did I do the video with me? All right, so I need to pick him up because he started to get fussy. It's almost his nap time. And I just noticed that I'm actually matching him today. <laughs> but here we go. I'm gonna try to do the last um, seven items with him. Let's see how it's gonna go. Hi, babies. He's usually pretty good. All right, N item number three. And this is really cool. I actually saw this on somebody else's YouTube video and at home at our house we have two floors just one heating system anyways it's kind of tough to know the exact temp exact temperature that we have in our bedrooms and i thought this was really cool it's um it's a thermometer and it lights up and the color of the light tells you how good a temperature is for the baby to sleep because it's that's really important when they are this tiny mainly so if it's blue it's too cold uh, the yellow is the recommended if it lights up um, orange is too warm and if it turns red it's too hot <laughs> oh my god you gotta love the dog noises how are you doing bud good yes so you always with this one you always need to make sure that it's yellow 
Um, I'm I'm not using this as much now because we kind of got the hang of you know the the, the, um, the temperature kind of thing. So, but I still do recommend if you're first mom and you're trying to figure out like the temperature in your room. Um, again, if you Google it, there are gonna be tons of options. I'm just I just happened to get this one and it worked for us. So that's what I'm showing to you. Hi, Baba. Baba wants to show help me to show all the good stuff that we have for baby, right? All right, next one. This is a lifesaver actually. Um, and it's by Little Remedies. Um, the, the little thing comes with, um, how do you call this? Like a syringe. <laughs> My husband is here, he's helping me too. <laughs> um, and it's gripe water. And what this does is helps to get rid of hiccups. Babies have awful amount of hiccups and it's kind of sad because sometimes it can bother them, sometimes they don't even care, it just hurts you to see the baby, you know, having hiccups and never end. But um, this is kind of magical. Again, like I googled how to get rid of baby hiccups and there are a couple of things that you can do to prevent as no burping and <laughs> bumps or like holding them up after feedings. But if they do end up having hiccups, this is amazing. So get it. Again, mine is from Little Remedies. I just like this brand. They usually avoid dyes and all that stuff that you don't want to give to your babies. So that's another one. So gadget number five is kind of gross if you're not a mom or if you're not into boogies, which knows boogies, which I don't think everybody is. <laughs> but... Um, it's called, what is this called now? It's by Frida Baby. It's a boogie sucker thing. I'm, again, like, I'm gonna lo link all the items below so you can check it out. I just use uh, this along with Celine Spray from Little Remedies. I don't think you can read it, but um, I'm gonna post it below. So what you do to clean your baby's nose is use some drops of this and then you literally, and we did this this morning, right? You put the blue part in the nostril and suck the boogie out. It sounds gross, I know. But there is a little filter so you're not getting sick or not getting boogies in your mouth. So don't worry about that. And the good thing is that you can actually clean it well and sterilize it. I know there are the ones, the classic ones with the round um, air thingy on the back that you put the... the it, it put it in the baby's nose. I don't know. I was never really crazy about it. You don't like them either, right? Um, because you kind of you're putting something in the baby's nose, and you can push the boogie in more. And then to clean, it's not that easy, and you don't want to boogies old boogies stuck on your baby's items. I don't know. It's just too much. So this sounds grosser, but it's actually cleaner, and I recommend. Hey. Hey, what are you looking at? <laughs> are the dogs still there? All right, so next item, and I'm sorry I'm talking so much. I love to talk. I could talk for like 10 years, but I'm trying to be quick. So our next item is a pacifier, something that I told myself that I would never, ever, ever give to my child. First night at home, what did I take out as soon as they started crying? The pacifier. Another item that I saw in somebody's video, um, it's by Wubba, Wubba it's a Wubba Nub. Um, they have all sorts of um, animal shaped pacifiers. Our first one was the classic one, was a giraffe, but uh, I just throw that in the garbage because my dog ate it. So if you have a pet, make sure to keep that away from your pet because they do look like a little pet's toy. Um, Right now, he doesn't really use specifier. It was just in the beginning to soothe him until I figure out what he actually needs. Now he kind of gets mad at me if I give him the specifier because he thinks I'm breastfeeding him and nothing's coming out. So um, either way, get it. It's just worth to have it, you know? And the cool thing is that because it has a weight and it's longer, they can hold it and it's really cute. So I actually do have a few um, newborn pictures and he's like sucking a pacifier and holding it and it's the most adorable thing but yep yeah. oh and another thing that I learned from my pediatrician babies don't create like habits habits like from um, up until three months so it's okay to if you need to use pacifier 
in the beginning and to figure out what cries means what because um, they don't won't get like attached to it up until the third month of life so and he didn't so he's good right babies you're good let's see if you can stick with that no pussies no pussies ah oh, see i told you <laughs> keep it away from your pet no Bubba. no Alrighty, we're almost done okay so my next item is a this giraffe that i i'm sorry i don't remember the name but i know it's pretty famous all the kids have it and never got why and somebody gave it to me and they just love the giraffes i don't know if it's because of the eyes it's like a dot and that's what they can see now and it squeaks again another toy that you don't want to keep close to your dogs because they think it's theirs but it squeaks and he usually loves it and um he's not teething yet but i know he's gonna start soon and i know this is like it's a teether so um it's nice and thin they can hold it and they can eat it not eat it right you can chew on it um and it's just cute it's just a way to get his attention for now and he loves looking at it i don't even know if he's looking at it are you looking at it are you looking at it i don't know i don't know so my next item is actually two again combined um and it's also by frida baby I feel like this brand and what I like about them is that they rethink things that have been used by moms for generations and nobody actually reinvented them. So they are just reinventing things like the um, like this um, the boogie sucker is just totally different than what you have seen there that people have been using for a long time. So okay, so this one is actually their nail clipper and um baby is born most of the times with really sharp nails and you don't know what to do because their nails are so soft you cannot really clip them and a lot of people use the gloves but i could not do it i actually he didn't use gloves i just couldn't handle looking at the the nails and i was like i need to get rid of those nails not the whole nail but like the outgrown one so I used, um, if they come together, is a nail filer, is a nail clipper. I used the nail filer first just to smooth it out. Worked perfect. When his nails start to get a little thicker um, and stronger, I started the nail clip. The nail clip, it's not really a regular adult nail clip. It's kind of like sideways, so the way it cuts, it's really cool. So it doesn't really flatten the kids, uh, the baby's nail. It's I mean, you need to you need to get it so you can understand what I'm talking about. But I definitely recommend this brand. All right, guys. So my next item is not an actual item, but it is an app. So it's an application that you can download on your phone. Um, and when you have a baby, it's a very good idea to track the dirty diapers, um, how long they sleep, uh, when they feed. Um, you know if you want to get into a schedule um so anyways definitely download it again i know there are a few out there but the one that i use is called baby tracker and you won't be able to see it but um you can put the information uh, when you nurse um and if it's breast milk if it's um, your breastfeeding, if it's express breast milk, if it's formula or if it's food. Uh, when he f goes to the bathroom um, and they give you an option of wet, mixed, just solids or, or dry. Um, they also give you an option of putting the sleeping time, how long they sleep. Um, also, if you pump or you can add other activity. So that's really cool. <coughs> excuse me and then um, there's also an option to go back and see that day so how many times he he wet himself how many times he did solids how many times he fed uh, how long total he slept through that day so it's really cool and it's so much easier to keep track of everything in the beginning I was actually writing everything down on the notebook and it was just so hard to keep track of it and with the app so much easier and it calculates for you you don't need to go back and it and it's cool because you can actually track like how long you're feeding on each side if you're breastfeeding 
anyways mommy stuff it's amazing definitely recommend um so get the baby tracker um and start using from day one and last but not least um, the tenth item that I want to show with you, I did not take it out of my uh, car seat, and I'm not necessarily talking about my car seat, although I do love my car seat. But is um, is this cover for the baby? I mean, I had Sebastian in October, and we are in New Jersey, United States, and it gets really cold here. Um, and it is. I'm gonna pull it up for you so you can try to see it. It is a cover. It's pretty much like a, looks like a sleeping sack, but you put in your car seat. Um, the seat belts goes through, so it has the back, and then there's a front, there's a zipper here, and then you have another layer. So instead of bungling up your child in a million different layers or something super bulky that he's gonna be uncomfortable wearing in a car seat because already tight you know for security um if you can just put him in regular clothes like one or two layers something thin and have this on top instead it's so much better um and you can take him around there's a little hood that you can open or close um hoodie that you can open or close and it's nice and fuzzy again i know there are a few different ones out there this one is the one that i happen to have it's by skip hop there's also um, like a zipper. I don't know why I will put in a zipper. And there's a little hook here. Um, I guess it's for pacifier or toys, you know, that you don't want to fall, but you want to have it handy for him to play with. Um, so this is it. This is my 10th item. I hope this was helpful for you if you were pregnant, you know, trying to figure out what to put on your registry. These. and um, I would like to know if you guys want me to talk about anything else baby related I do plan to make one about breastfeeding and pumping which was a lot for me to learn when I first had the baby and I'm planning on making you about making you a, making a video about um, section um, how it happened to me and things that were helpful and actually a video about mommy stuff that became very 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 handy to me so but again like if you have any requests let me know um, I hope you like this if you did please 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 give me thumbs up share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and I see you guys later bye